Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an anime series that I actually watched out of boredom and due to because it also was a video game on my Sony PSP. But you know what? I actually really kind of liked it. Netflix has become one of my favorite places to go when bored. Kind of replaced television with all their original content and then bringing back old releases to viewers to make it look like they're new for me to discover. God Eater was released way back in 2010 and still is a force to reckon with with their last installment in 2019 on the video game consoles. I myself own the PSP version released in 2010 and I liked it as it was a mix between Monster Hunter and Fantasy Star Online gameplay together. Never quite finished the game as life happens but a game I had fun with nonetheless, but I never truly got far enough to understand the story behind it all. Welcome to God Eater the Anime Series, produced by Haruku Kondo and released by Aniplex of America from 2015 to 2016, the series explains how the post-apocalyptic nation known as New Asia Union came to be and how the new weapon, God Arcs, are being developed to help fight against origami monsters. As the series begins, you travel back and forth from the present to memories of many different characters that help broaden the story, explain how things came to be, and to help develop characters more to strengthen their backgrounds. The series does this well as almost every character is damaged in some way or another and fighting to survive or have something to prove. That is the strongest plot lines the series shows as the viewer develops more and more for the character as they delve into each character's emotional being that can be a bit long in the tooth, but you begin to understand why and who they are and how they became to change. The series follows Linka, Lindo, Sakuya, and Elisa as the main core characters that the series leans on heavily. As the series grows, as does the characters and how they bounce off one another in that same exact change, for better or for worse. I was surprised that this much drama came out of a hack and slash style of gameplay from the video game. Not to say that there isn't any action here at all. The visuals and action sequences are fun to watch as God Arcs are the weapon of choice and the God Arc is larger than life and crazy as each character is able to wield them as the characters get stronger, as does the power of the God Arc, killing the Argami monsters with ease. Although visually fun to watch the action, the core theme of the series is how to survive and how to rise up against all odds. With so many installments in the gaming arena, I knew the series would never end or have a resolution where all is one. It feels like a Starship Trooper film where new leaders emerge and they are much closer to ending the war, but not just there quite yet. A surprising anime that actually caught me off guard. I do dislike some of the character designs for the female characters as it looks to be done to grab attention of the male viewers and or drawn by teenage boys, as this is well known in anime, but not very realistic in war. Female characters can look just as cool with proper armor, and it bugs me that this was not the case in this one. It just doesn't feel realistic. Other than that, the humanistic qualities of the war is to survive and endure, and then to lead is its highest points. A very quality series where I think it is one and done, and leaves the viewer to pick up their games to find out what happens next. God Eater, the television anime series, gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its fun and inspiring look at a ragtag group of damaged kids here to lead and save the world in a war that really doesn't end. That's it for this look into the anime series of God Eater. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. <laughs>